welcome guys and thank you for joining us here again for another session and today we will be, we will be talking about something super fun and interesting and useful and all the good things in the world so we'll be talking about how to attract convert and retain your customers all right, especially true um, when you are this end of the year, two more months to make whatever sales you need to make um, and also to plan for next year. So I'm going to go through th these three things, um, how to prepare yourself so you can get more sales, hopefully, right? So I'm going to start off with the um, upcoming trend, which we are seeing more and more of being implemented by commerce companies, e-commerce companies which is voice search. So it's similar to SEO. SEO works in terms of typed out um, text in your blog or in your website or in your shop uh, uh, front. So it ranks you on search engines when consumers use certain keywords or search or phrases, right? So it's an extension, a verbal extension of your SEO practice. So if, you have, if you're still doing SEO, that's fine. That's good. It's still very relevant. Continue. Continue. Um, but this is uh, the next step that you might want to consider to bring in more traffic to your store. Okay. So when you optimize for voice search, you'll be optimizing your landing pages so that they appear verbally when your potential customer undertakes a voice search. All right. So how does that work? Um, how does voice search work for e-commerce stores. So when you use voice search in your store, you're actually enabling your customers to search for your products within your online store without any manual keyboard input by solely using their voices. The Apple Siri, Amazon's Alexa, and Google Assistant, right? So obviously it uses AI. So it merges you know, field computing and linguistics to allow people to search for things without typing. So sometimes when you're driving, you want to search for a restaurant, for example. I know, Sarah, you do that a lot. Um, I also, I hardly do that because I'm still pretty comfortable with typing. So not very good if I'm driving, not very usable, not user-friendly. So what Sarah does is actually much better than what I do. So do that. So when people do manual search by typing, sometimes mistakes happen. You type the wrong thing and it goes to something else. Um, so, but you know, I actually came up with, I actually watched this video where uh, the house is, the smart house is automated by voice. And <laughs> That's funny, right? Yes, and this fellow, he went for a dentist appointment and came back and the and the gadget couldn't recognize his voice. So all kinds of chaos happened to him. So that can happen in a smart home and smart devices, but rarely, I think, I think you can take control of it, right? So why is voice search on the rise for online retail? Um, one, it's faster and easier search. So the first thing to consider is the person's average typing speed, which is about 40 words per minute, but uh, that's on a traditional QWERTY keyboard, right? So when you're doing a voice search, it's, it's much, much faster, okay? So you can do other things. You can do your shopping or whatever um, outside, and you can search for the products that you want, okay? It's more convenient in a digital world. One of the keywords of our digital world is convenience. You want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to buy. So we have we have apps for everything, right? We have apps to buy your groceries, your pet food, uh, you have to find your local handyman. So an e-commerce apps um, actually has made our lives much busy, much easier. Um, we have become more busy, so we need things to make it easier for us, right? So, and it's also very good for mobile searches. So access from mobile devices now represents 55% of all internet traffic. And that figure will definitely grow. And, you know, in the uh, the latest budget 2022, um, the government mentioned that they do want to reach out to more rural areas, giving them more internet access by working with telco as partners. So hopefully that will actually help uh, even those who have been out of touch to be able to use all the services, right? You need customers to be, to, you need to meet your customers where they are. We've always been talking about this when it comes to attracting your customers. So how do we do that, right? Uh, it's always easy to just say, correct? But where to do it, there are a lot of, of steps to, to do, to, to take 
to, to, to plan and prepare and actually execute. So, you know, even for us, we are like you in your shoes. We understand that meeting our customers where they are is difficult, but that's what we have to do, right? So ads definitely will help if you've got a bigger budget, you know how to target them, you already know it's with specific uh, customer audience where they are, then you can already pick them according to location, you can pick them according to behavior, to habits, and all that, right? Um, SEO, as what I've mentioned earlier as well, still continues to be very, very, very important, as well as email marketing, which we have touched upon uh, the past few shows. And also, sometimes uh, some of you might be asking, what about WhatsApp messaging or SMS messaging? Yes, still very le- relevant, especially if you are able to send WhatsApps or messages within your vicinity. So somehow you yeah. need to yeah, yeah. you need to yeah you need to put a step in place though. Um, there are telco partners I'm sure who we you're asking me how do I get these numbers? Well, you're not supposed to buy illegal lists, right? You're not going to go that route. So the best way to do is when you are actually creating your funnel, your lead funnels. You you cannot. Um, you cannot expect customers to buy immediately, right? So you need to create your lead magnet, your lead funnel, and that's where you try to get their phone numbers. Um, if you can't get their phone numbers by giving a lead magnet like an offer or something educational um, or a, a white paper or whatever you want to give them, an email will work best. Sometimes, sometimes the customers, even myself, I feel like, hey, how did you get my phone number? You know, and and they are more skeptical when it comes um, through my through phone numbers. Okay. Yes, and there are services where you can engage um, some services that would help spread the message for you, depending on the location where you want to target. Correct. So this is um, TikTok. TikTok, we are always used to being entertained on TikTok, but can you really sell on TikTok? And the answer is yes. Right now, you can actually put in the links to your store in the bio. So when whenever you're talking about your products, you're entertaining your customers, you can always lead them to your link. You can see up here. Let me try to just make this a bit larger, slightly bigger. Yes, I think this is the biggest that you can possibly go. Okay. So, yeah. So, selling on TikTok works. Um, There are a few ways for you to do that. Um, You can actually work with micro-influencers or you can actually place ads. Okay. So, this is what Netflix is doing. You can also check later.com. Both of these are, you know, online services that people buy on subscription basis. And then there's Lululemon, which is a a fashion brand, right, Sarah? Lululemon is a fitness apparel. Fitness apparel, right. Um, And also, if you're thinking, how do I incorporate TikTok into my website? There are apps out there where you can integrate your TikTok feeds to your website. So people can see what's happening on TikTok. You don't have to create more content, uh, separate content on your website, okay? And obviously, there's, of course, the uh, TikTok for Business where you can place ads. So you can work with the influencers that are already on TikTok so they can partner you up with those who you who you feel will fit your brand nicely. Because we talked about this last week. Uh, we spoke about how to find the right influencer for your brand. So check that video out if you haven't. It's on YouTube. And um, you make sure that, you know, the influence that you influencers that you work with really knows how to sell your product niche, okay? And that is what I wanted to talk about TikTok. Um, in the US, Snapchat is still very happening. I don't know if you you, you use it, Sarah, do you? Um, I don't use Snapchat. Yeah, so I, I think we both use Instagram more, right? Yes. Yeah, I so you can actually... My younger sister and their friends, so 2018, 19, they're using Snapchat. Mm-hmm. So you can actually... What about you guys? Are you using Snapchat, the ones who are watching us live? Um, do you still use Snapchat or do you use Instagram like us? Um, leave your comments below. We love to hear from you because, you know, we love comments. And so, yeah, uh, you can use Instagram stories because sometimes you don't want to mess up how your feed, your Instagram feed looks like, right? So you can actually be more engaging on your stories and your reels, which is something that now um, you can actually have 
have a sticker link on Instagram. If you have not used it, do check it out. I've I've already gotten mine. So I've already started my first link, which is so exciting. So you know, you don't have to have 10,000 uh, followers to actually use it now, right? And that is such a great feature to make it accessible by everyone. Mm-hmm. And Sarah Lee just commented, she also doesn't use Snapchat. So Sarah Lee, you don't use Snapchat too. You use WhatsApp mostly, okay? So I think um, there are a number of us who find using WhatsApp easy. Um, if you have a smaller number of customers to deal with, but when you have suddenly an influx of customers, you and you also not only have a WhatsApp for business, you have, you have other presence online. You have your Shopee, you've got your Lazada, you've got your own website, you've got your Facebook shop. So when you have multiple channels, then we would recommend that you have a tool in place to make sure that you don't miss out on all the communications that you have with your customers. So one way to do that, right? Um, yeah, so, sorry, Sarah. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> I'm like on the roll, you know. Um, so... I know. Because before, <laughs> I know, when you, when you are on the roll, when you are rolling, also, if you are using WhatsApp as your main communication point, there are, we, we do have a solution and a system that could capture orders from whatsapp from whatsapp conversations and such mm, yes um we, we we actually have zendesk which is one of the tools that we use and we do sell it um we can talk about it later on but today we just want to talk about this so yes. another yes so another thing would be to of course have your blocks in place right we always say create content um and some of you might not be great at writing it's fine you can have video content you can have um, imagery photography content so whatever com- whatever you're comfortable with you can use um, just but you need to make sure that whatever captions or titles or descriptions for whatever medium you decide to use as your content has all the right words and phrases that make it easier for your potential customers to find you okay so I wanted to show this um, this website that I found, let's just show that to you. Okay, when I was searching for auto parts, right? This is what I found in Google because usually I search for stuff on Google. There are people who look for stuff on Facebook Marketplace and, and other websites, maybe muda.my if you're in Malaysia or even Carousel. If you're buying products, right, you might even look for stuff at... Um, um, on Facebook search, you could Facebook Marketplace, but I usually go immediately when I'm looking for something, I go to Google. I don't know. What about you, Sarah? For well, auto parts, the last time I bought an auto part was last month or two months ago, and I actually went to Shopee. But before mm. that, I used Muda. But right. somehow at the moment, the first marketplace that came to mind was Shopee. And I found a few a few sellers that are selling the, the spare part, I mean the auto part. Mm, yeah. So for, for me, I, I well in general when I shop online or when I'm looking for a specific product or a service, I use Google. Auto parts I actually go to well, my my cousin who does all this re, re, refurbishment stuff. So I actually just watch him directly. But Besides the point, if you're looking for stuff on Google, this is what happens, right? Because of your SEO and because of your content, the the right words come up, right? So you will most probably see this first. You will see the maps to the the, the closest uh, auto parts shop. Businesses. Yes, businesses. And and because of this, I see that no one is actually placing Google ads. So you don't see the sponsored posts, but the first thing, the first few things that I see is this monthly auto. Um, they have used the right phrases, you know, right, right words for their website, obviously. So they've become number one, Wikipedia. Are. And the next one I wanted to show you was uh, Emerald Auto Parts because their blog is very interesting. Even for, for a person like me who is not so much into cars, um, but I found that it's so easy to use their website. So when you land on their website, you already see they have a Shopee site, they have Instagram, they also have WhatsApp and they have Facebook. So you can see they have multiple channels where the customers can look for them or find them. 
And then you, when you scroll down, they have scrolled down, you, they've already made it very easy for you to look for specific things that you're looking for. But what made it so easy to find them? Basically, it would be their blog. So when you go to the news, you see that they don't just sell, sell, sell. What they're actually teaching, they're actually teaching customers the, the, different, the different types of, you know, sport pads, brake fluids, different, different things, you know. So whatever you're looking for, you can find here. And they make it interesting. They, they share the story about Brembo, which is their official partner. So the storytelling there. And I, I'm just quite impressed. From the auto part, I find it pretty complete. They have the about us, the vision, the value, the contact, and this is so important here, right? So that's what I wanted to share about Brembo. They also are very aggressive in terms of sales. So I'm going to touch that as well. Let me just go there. We want to also touch a bit about partnerships, right? So for example, let's just stick to the auto part example, right? Um, if you are selling auto parts and you're just relying on people to come to your, your, your existing customers who buy auto parts, you can actually work with potential partners. For example, uh, you could work with insurance companies so you can tap on their database, right? Because car insurance, everybody needs it. Um, and the insurance companies will definitely want to work with you because you're offering them their customers some added value, perhaps a discount for your products or, you know, whatever you can offer them. Or you can even work with petrol stations, um, um, a deal with them. Maybe you have a special one-day uh, deal where, where, where cars come to that petrol station. You will be stationed there and you're having, you know, a, a, makeover, a, a look over for the basic car service, you know. And that's how you can actually work out with partnerships, right? So that's not only online, you can also work offline, right? And... Another thing you could do is actually have affiliate partners. Um, that's where your resellers just need a special affiliate code. And when they use their code, your, their special code that you've assigned to them, they will just get a commission. So this is where you can have a affiliate marketing program. A lot of software companies do this. It works. It's so much easier for the agents just to sell without having to hold any parts or products with them. They just need to talk about your product. And when the customers like it, they just go to using the link to get a special offer, right? So that's affiliate marketing. So we've talked about attracting customers um, in the long run. Uh, in the short run, you can place ads. You want quick results. And how do you convert your customers? So that is something which is super important. We already have a website. Everything is in place. How do you make that sale? So let me also just double, just share my screen again. So let me just show you. You've already come to the, the your customer has already come to your website, right? Um, and maybe they're new to your brand. So how you can actually convince them is to actually give as much information as possible, be as complete as possible, use as uh, the most attractive photos that you can, um, give them, a, you know, reviews, share the reviews of your past customers. And this is an example of what, you know, Brembo, Brembo, the shop that I shared earlier, right? So they, they give you the, the details of the brick pads, right? Um, the features and, and things like that. Um, and then this is another example. If you're selling outdoor camping products, you can have a clean background like this, or you can have a more lifestyle based background like this. You know, you want to, you want to uh, share the mood that your customer is supposed to be in. Okay. And well, of the course, best is actually, the yeah. best is actually to include all the photos, the clear mm. photo with the, with the, with the clear background. These mm -hmm. lifestyle photos, the photos of the products in action, and then also UCG, so photos of the product being used by real life people that they've uploaded somewhere. That's right. And you just have to put your yourself in your customer's shoes, right? You're buying shoes that you cannot touch and you cannot feel. So what do you do to make it extra easy for your customers to buy? So you can take different angles of your products, like the, what this, this company did, um, they you can also include how to use products, you know, not for shoes, but maybe for electronic gadgets or devices. Um, and 
maybe add free shipping, something that people always want. So put it into your costing. Um, uh, you know, assure them that de delivery will be made within three working days, for example. Um, also, something that will want them to take action right now would be to show the number of uh, products left in your store. So when you know that, oh, no, there's only three pieces left, you want to get it right now. Um, another thing would be to have a limited edition products. So you know that it's not available everywhere. Maybe you can just say that this product is only available, only a hundred pieces of this product is available worldwide, for example, right? And of course, like this shoe example, you can actually customize it. You you know, if you can see my cursor over here, uh, they are offering a customized service. So you. If you are able to do that, try to make it different for your customer. They can make it more personalized. Okay. You, uh, this, okay. Just wanted to show you more. So this is a limited time offer. So you'll get a compl complimentary label flower with today's purchase. So a small deal, a small product, but it still is an extra free gift that people will always want, right? Reviews will always add trust. And another thing would be to have a chat. So if they have questions that they want to ask you, they are able to ask live chat, right? That, that makes a big difference. Um, another thing to touch upon would be uh, here. This is our Sephora. So they've put in a limited edition uh, in brackets. So, so, so you know that not everybody will get it. And you want to get it right now. This is also the, what I mentioned earlier, a limited edition of 100 units worldwide. So, you know, you want to be special and this is how you make your customers feel special. Another way would be to upsell your products, right? You've already managed to get your customer to put one product in their, their cart. Now you want to add the, the, the extra value, you know, the average value spent in your store by adding complementary products to the products that they have already put in their cart, right? So you can bundle them up together as well. This is something I'm sure you are familiar with when you're buying something from McDonald's. <laughs> would you like fries with that? Would you like to upsize your Coke? Uh, would you like for if you're buying for only one ringgit, you know? Um, and Domino's is something they're always they are always attracting me with an extra pizza free or a free twisty or something like that, right? And for those who are using Apple products, you are surely familiar with this. They're always selling one core product, just a phone, for example, and then making you buy the charger and the earphones and the ear airports and whatnot, right? So that's how they upsell their sneaky, sneaky businesses, this. But it, I guess for... <laughs> for people who love Apple, they will not even wait. You know, they won't even hesitate. They will just buy. Um, I won't be their target audience. I'll be like saying, what kind of plot is this? You know, you want to do business or not? You know, that's not for me. You're just not their target customer. <laughs> I'm not but their Apple target is. customer. But, but you know, Apple I'm so dis <laughs> Yeah, the thing is, even um, even Samsung is doing this little naughty trick um with their with their Note Twenty, I think they're but they're selling the cable separately, the battery separately, a charger separately, earphone separately. What is this, man? Eesh. Thankfully, when I bought mine, it's not separate. Yeah, lucky you. <laughs> and if you're a camera shop, you can bundle your your gadgets together with the main camera. You can add in your lenses, you can in your flash, you can in, you add in your battery backup, for example, right? So you bundle them together. It makes a purchase much easier. And when people like itchy to buy and they see, oh, this is a steal, they would mostly want to do that. Um, coming back to makeup, you can also have, uh, you know, starter kits, you can have brush sets, you can have hair products in one bundle. Um, if you're selling um, snacks, you can have a bundle of snacks for a week, for example. So you, just, you don't sell just one product, but you sell it for a week's worth of products. Um, so it increases, increases your average order value. That's what you want. You want people to spend more in your store where they're already there, they're already interested in your products. You want them to buy, buy, buy. And the last bit, of, well, not second, second last bit, is to take advantage of the sales that are happening around you. So take take note of what 
um, marketplaces are doing and implement it in your own store so you don't have to rely on marketplaces alone. So this is a new thing that I just discovered last month, payday sale. So you're already familiar with 7788991010111. Now so they've even <laughs> Now they've added a payday sale. And you know what you then... discovered it, right? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> You know, you know why you've just discovered it, right? Because you're on your, because you're a business owner. Yes, then, so I just government discovered workers, it. Government workers, they get paid on the twenty fourth. They do. So unfair. Yep. I I get paid at the beginning of the new month. So <laughs> most people get paid on the twenty fourth, twenty third, twenty fourth. Yeah, but when when I was working in the corporate world, I used mm -hmm. to get my pay. Um, actually, the earliest would be. To 29th or 30th never to 25th so i think maybe they ah. just put it there they put it there just to entice you and then when you do get your salary then you come back and buy maybe yeah and another thing would be talking about sales right now it's november we have just passed halloween i don't know whether you did some sales during halloween but um now that the the end of the year is coming that's christmas um you know other usual other popular sales would be the cyber sales, Black Friday sales. Um, and then if you're already preparing for next year, you should already start planning your Chinese New Year sales. So, and also, um, people are going back to school. Lockdowns are lifting a little bit. Um, I don't know when the school year is going to officially start, but you could start your back to school sale, right? And then I wanted to talk about content again again i've we always talk about content right um even earlier when you wanted to attract your customers what do you do when you want to retain your customers the same thing content you want to continue educating them about how to use your products what new products might be coming up maybe you want to get some feedback from them you know asking them what do you want to look for when you're buying a new product from us educate them educate them educate them so this is an example of a hair blog you i i wouldn't have thought there's so much to talk about hair but let's see what they are sharing okay let me just share with you their website there's a lot to talk about hair <laughs> i never knew that <laughs> Yeah, so that's the, the, the aesthetic, aesthetic part of hair and then the health part of hair. So healthy, maintaining it, and then how to make it look good, maintaining the treatments that you have done and such. That's right. I Maybe mean, because I take it for, for granted, right? Because I'm always covered with my scalp. No, because you already have beautiful hair, so you don't think I much don't. Of Oh no, I've got dry hair. So yeah, so this is a hair vlog. Um, and they teach you, you know, to be fun. That, that you can feel that the brand is fun, is young. Um, they've got ambassadors to talk about, you know, hair tips, uh, how to be that guy. So hair care and advice, a lifestyle, the face behind Luxy, so the ambassador or this is actually their staff, their operations coordinator. Uh, and then what's trending, wedding tips, video tutorials, easy hairstyle, heatless hairstyles. I think that's something important for me. I don't want to spoil my hair uh, because it's already dry. I have something for short hair, curly hair, uh, natural hair, and things like that. So, so much content that they're sharing. right? And, and what they're actually selling, you can always find here will be their hair extensions, their curlers, their application kits, their rollers, their brushes. And then, of course, they have um, scrunchy sets, claw clips, and hair ties and whatnot. So you can also have a look here. Free shipping, something everybody looks for. And now this is the latest craze for an e-commerce business, a buy now, pay later option. So um, there's more. That's where, you know, your customers can buy now and slowly pay you back like a subscription basis right and the and if they do skip on their on their payment usually the the interest is much higher that they that, that they had they have to pay okay so that's what i wanted to share about luxy hair store hair blog uh what else did anyone want to go for um i guess let's maybe touch about you know the, there are a lot of people in the health industry right so if you if you're selling health products and Sometimes there's like, you need to adhere to a lot of regulations. 
Um, so sometimes you cannot just simply post on Facebook or Shopee or Lazada because you need to, to meet these regulations. So through your blog, through your content, you can actually write a lot about maybe um, what these supplements what supplements are there out there, you know, suitable for you? You can have when you're on the landing page, you know, when a customer is looking for a supplement, they don't know what supplements there are out there because they're new like me. Um, you could break them down into maybe something to make your skin glow. So physical aspect or to make you feel younger. So that's, a you know, somebody, something for the older generation who are feeling maybe a uh, low in energy and um, you can have something for um, fitness fitness freaks you know people who already know what they want so that's the advanced uh, customer right so you know with these breakdowns when you're targeting your audience when you're targeting your message through your email messages or your whatsapp messages whatever you're using to to keep in touch with them you know what to send out to them what content will resonate with them Okay, so, you know, you can share workout videos, you can share what's latest in, in what's trending out there, what's safe, what's harmful. Um, you can repurpose all this content. You don't have to just limit it to your website or your blog. Use this short, you shorten it, make it nice and snappy and put it on Instagram, on your, on your TikTok, or whatever, right? And then there's the case of abandoned cards. What do you do when people have already put stuff in there, in there? Um, cart and they want to shop around yes they want to shop some more they're going to look at your competitors so what you can do is again repeat what i've mentioned earlier put there there's only two products left so buy now or you know have uh, when they're going to go to the x you know when they want to exit you could have a pop-up that says don't leave yet we're going to offer you an extra 10% off or something like that, you know. Um, and, of course, have an email follow-up. So if you have a proper e-commerce website in place, this is a feature that you should have where um, you can track those who want to abandon you and you can lure them back through email. Um, and retaining also, besides loyalty programs that some of you have already have, um, I think this is basically all the things that you can practice in your business. I hope that covers it all. Um, and the main key takeaway, I think, would be, you know, it might be like so much for you to do is just to, let me just show this slide. My One of my, like one of my slides. <laughs> my last slide before we go. I've seen that reel. You have seen the reel? Okay. okay let me just do that. Uh, this one. So this is my my key takeaway, right? There's so much to do. What are you going to do? Just get started. <laughs> Just do something. Just do Just one something. Thing. Yeah. It, it's just one step at a time, you know? You don't have to do everything at once. Just do one thing that you think is the easiest for you. Do that. And then it'll just naturally go along the way. So yeah, that's that's what I wanted to share today, Sarah. It's a bit long, yeah, thirty six minutes today. It didn't feel Ugh. like it was that long, though. I hope I didn't bore you guys out there. <laughs> so if there are, do you have any questions, those viewers who are with us today? Thank you again for joining us. Um, do you have questions about what we covered today? If you had, if you have any questions, type them in the comments and just to elaborate a bit more about what honey said categorizing categorizing the different type of products like for example for oily hair and then for dry hair or, or you're writing the benefits um have have healthier skin or have more glowy skin so what you're doing is actually you are speaking in your customer's language and that's what they're looking for they're not necessarily googling vitamin c or you know biotin for hair they don't know the ingredients even though that's what you want to tell them we have these ingredients these are the you know these are the ingredients that we use and you want to talk about your product but it's a good thing that you talk in the way that your customers are thinking so they're not thinking about what are the products uh, what are the ingredients that i need they're thinking how do i get glowy hair so using the right keyword of what your customer is searching that would get you more ideas. yes 
Thanks, Tara. So, okay, I don't see any questions. I hope that I've been, um, we've been helpful enough for today's session. Uh, do join us again for our next session, which is on Friday, 12.30. Do follow us on Anta Solution Facebook page as well as our YouTube page. We are always posting our YouTube videos on Anta Solutions page, so you can always find the older videos there. Um, yeah, so have a, have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Bye.